join me for a 10 minute upper body strengthening workout routine targeting your shoulders, your biceps, your triceps, and even your wrists. We are gonna be using a resistance band. This could be a little more joint friendly on your hands and your arms. And these exercises are perfect if you are recovering from an injury or tendonitis, but looking to build strength without causing pain. Since resistance bands come in a variety of resistance levels and lengths, use what you have and what feels right for you. Now let's get started with a one minute warm up. You're not gonna need the band. You're gonna go ahead and bring those elbows up together, hands together, shoulders up in flexion here. If you can, you don't have to touch, but we're gonna start here and then come out into a T with our arms out in external rotation and then moving down into some internal rotation, back up into external rotation and together. All right, keep going. Out in external rotation, rotate down as much as you can, back up and together. Out, internal rotation, back up, together. Out, keep those elbows out to the side if you can. Internal rotation, back up into those cactus arms and together. Out, in, just getting that, that shoulder nice and warmed up here. In, and together. Out, in, out, and together. All right, now grab that band for exercise two. Okay, wrap your band around your hands, bring your shoulders up into abduction, elbows bent back here. Give yourself as much or as little resistance as what feels comfortable for you. You do want some resistance here to start, not a ton, but then we're gonna go ahead and bring that right elbow out and do a tricep press out and then come back. So keep going, press out and back. Really feel it in the tricep there. You might also feel it in the shoulders too because we're having to keep our arms up here. So press out and back. Press out and back. Maintain that position on both sides. Nice and strong arms here. Press out, back. Keep that wrist nice and stable too. Press out and back, press and back. Really feel the burn in that tricep already. Maybe even into the shoulders. Keep going, press out, back. Get one more in there, press out and back. <laughs> Good job. Let's do that on our left side now. Elbows out, now press out with that left side and back, press and back, keeping the shoulders up and press. Wrists are nice and strong and stable here. And press out and in, press out and in. Stop at about 90 degrees of that elbow, press out. Just do a double check, make sure you're keeping that position on both sides here. Press and in, press that tricep out into extension and press and press. Keep going, press, press out. Really feeling that burn already, press. Squeeze one more in there and press and relax, good job. Okay, keep the band wrapped around your hands here and then go ahead and tuck those elbows at your side, grab a hold of that band and we're gonna go ahead and rotate our forearms up into supination or palms up and then control that motion, palms down. You don't have to go all the way palms down, but really work on that supination, palms up and nice and controlled down. You don't have to go too fast. Really slow and controlled is really more efficient and effective. And in fact, most people don't realize when we are doing supination, we are working on our bicep. 
One of the main motions of our bicep is supination. So we're getting a good bicep workout here. Keep those wrists nice and strong too. Palm up. And palm up. Again, make sure those elbows are tucked at your side so the shoulder does not compensate or cheat. And squeeze one more in there and relax. Good job. All right, now drop those arms down, place your forearms in a palms down position, and then go ahead and give yourself some resistance. So go ahead and pull the band apart just a little bit and bring your arms up into some shoulder flexion and then come back down, maintaining that resistance the whole entire way. Back up and back down. Continue with that resistance. Hold that resistance here. Up into some shoulder flexion and lower back down. Keep going. Resist up into shoulder flexion here. This is a nice isometric contraction. The whole entire way you should have some tension from that band. Up and lower relaxing in the neck try not to hold any tension in that neck and back down try to squeeze one more in there up into shoulder flexion and come back down and relax good all right continue hanging on to the that band pull apart from one another bring those arms back up into shoulder flexion now what we are going to do is we are going to do circles here so we are going to continue with that tension but we're going to keep our arms up in flexion here and we're going to have one arm on top of the other arm here just doing some rotations here, some circles. Maintaining this motion here. Making sure you continue to have some tension in that band. You can lower down a little bit if you feel like that's too much in the neck, if you're feeling some pain in that neck. Back and forth here, keep those rotations going. You can move up a little higher, just to make that a little bit harder here. Nice and controlled with tension, constant tension on that band there. And relax. Ooh, feeling the burn now. Okay, let's give those shoulders a little bit of a break. So bring those shoulders down at your side, elbows at your side. We are gonna work on some wrist extension. So turn those forearms in a neutral position here. Make sure you have a little bit of resistance and you just wanna move the wrists back into extension and flexion. So now we are just trying to get a little bit of wrist strengthening in here. So pull back into extension and flexion. Make sure you are just targeting the wrist. You don't want to do the shoulder just yet. Keep those elbows down at your side as well. Pull back. Back in wrist extension. You could just do one wrist at a time if you like. Just move as far as you can within your comfort range. Let's get one more in there. Good job and relax. All right, let's continue in this position here. Now we are going to go ahead and move the 
hands away from one another in external rotation. So wrists are gonna stay straight here, and then we're just gonna come back in. So wrists are straight, elbows are still at our side, but now we're moving our shoulders in external rotation. Now, if you feel like that's too much tension, go ahead and play around with that, and just make sure that is a little more comfortable for you. Go out in external rotation, back in. External rotation, just move as far as you can. If you can only go a little bit, that's okay. You do not need to go too far out in external rotation with this exercise to get the benefits. Pull. Pull apart. Go ahead and do these nice and controlled too. You don't wanna to go too fast. Controlled out and controlled in. And out and in and feel that shoulder burn Woo! okay now for our last theraband exercise we're going to go ahead and place the band behind you continue to have the band wrapped around your hand now what you want to do you're going to stand up straight you're going to go ahead and pull that band apart so we're going to do a little bit of shoulder abduction here keep some tension on that band looking straight ahead now you're going to go into some shoulder extension here going to feel a little bit in the triceps, in the upper back, in the shoulder, hold here, and then keep that tension and lower back down and back up. Maintaining the tension in that band the whole way down and the whole way up. You're really going to feel this one all in the shoulder and the triceps. Don't lift up too high if you're feeling it in the neck there. If you feel it in the neck, go ahead and just kind of look down a little bit, tuck that chin some, that might help. But this is a nice small motion that does a lot for those shoulders. And get one more in there, pull up and come back down Whew. and drop that band ha huh. you're done okay let's get into our cool down go ahead and open those arms out fingers out out as wide as you can opening up that chest bring those wrists back here just feeling a really nice stretch all along the whole upper body here and then go ahead and cross those arms and go ahead and give yourself a little hug here. Bring those elbows up a little bit to feel a little bit of a stretch in those triceps. Just kind of hold here, do just a little rocking back and forth. And then open back up here, stretch all the way back, fingers back. Come back around, cross the other arm over one another. Again, giving yourself a little hug here. Bringing those elbows up, we'll stretch those triceps a little more in the shoulder. Do just a little rocking here. And one last time, open back up here and lower back down. Good job. Now, if your muscles are burning and you feel like you got a good upper body workout, then give this video a like and hit that subscribe button below. And go ahead and leave a comment if you're interested in more videos like these. Until next time, thanks for watching.